everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I would like to share with you my little project I created uh, using one large envelope. I'm gonna just quickly show you what is inside. So we do have so many openings and flip outs and this shouldn't be here. <laughs> so, so many openings and see-through pockets. And surprises everywhere and all this it's made using one envelope so I can have a look through to all these windows we do have window here and window here all this I have created using one large envelope and I'm gonna share with you how I made it I hope you will enjoy this process video I'm gonna be using today um, some envelope maybe two I'm gonna take that large one and I'm gonna open that envelope and I would like to keep that window so for now I'm gonna take off this piece of acetate I'm gonna be using today this beautiful tissue paper and before I will glue on my envelope tissue paper i'm gonna be using cheesecloth and cover all this space with cheesecloth so step by step i'm gonna place first the glue on my background and then i will go with the cheesecloth so I do have cheesecloth glue down and now I'm gonna apply glue again and on that glue I'm gonna start the gluing the tissue paper And every single time I'm gonna press the tissue paper to those layers with the bunch of cloth. Do have glued my tissue paper on that envelope. Now I'm gonna cut off the window here. So first cut I'm gonna do with the knife and then that rest I think I'm gonna cut with the scissors. Or well, I will see. Oh, maybe with the knife all of that. Uh, I do have cut my window so now I'm gonna start to fold it. I would like to make folds somewhere behind that window, so I'm gonna fold it opposite way to see how big it goes. And here I'm following uh, the fold to make sure I'm folding it kind of straight. I think this way. So if I will fold this one, this will be one size of my booklet and here I'm gonna fold it, I think this way, a little bit more, here. So again I'm following this fold I created, I'm following that fold to make sure I'm folding, I'm making folds which will make the rectangle-ish. So my booklet should be in this size. Good, that's good size. So now everything else I'm gonna be folding around. This will be 
as a flap of my future booklet. So from here I can cut off this small piece and I can cut and I can cut here between and now this part I need to fit to this side this size so I'm gonna fold it this way and that way and I can cut off here when I fold it I can cut off this this last piece so there is no measurement it's just folding and now if I will imagine this will go here it will go there here okay then this I'm gonna cut here here and that can make a pocket here so this can create pocket here and this should go over it as a page so that's I'm gonna be cutting here to the fold so I did cut it here and I'm gonna fold it this way so right now I do have opening here I will have pocket here this can be opened down. I will have something here. And all this could be, and of course I do have flap here, which I'm gonna use for something as well. And all this could be wrapped all together using <coughs> those pieces around. I'm not gonna cut them yet. I think I'm gonna leave them as a last to make sure I can fit with everything inside. So first I'm gonna create the pocket here. That's the most easy part. I just folded this around gonna fold it one more time because it's not straight around the edge so I'm gonna fold it one more time to make it nice and straight I don't need here that big part so I'm gonna cut it smaller and cut the edges to the angle So then when it's glued down it will don't make bulks and I would like to have here uh, decorative stitching so I'm gonna grab my sewing machine and do just zigzag stitching on this edge so I added zigzag stitching on all this edge so then when this will get glued down I will have decorative stitching here and decorative stitching here. I think I can grab the glue and glue it down there. And here the bottom, I'm gonna use my sewing machine and make again zigzag stitching on that bottom here and that has created pocket for me here this came the other day in the mail so I cut it on three pieces and these two they are similar and I'm gonna be using them as my uh, base base for frame 
I would like to do window pocket here and glue it on this flap. Uh, for making that window, I'm gonna be using Tim Holtz uh, slot stitch slot die. So I'm gonna match both of these together, place that die on it, and cut the windows. So now I do have two similar frames and I do have these slots which I can use in my journals. And both of these frames I'm gonna... Oh, this is actually gorgeous, look at that. Okay, I'm not gonna <laughs> wrap it in the... I'm not gonna wrap it in... Um, in book pages as I thought at the first. I do have my pieces tea dyed and they do look amazing so I'm gonna continue with this frame first I'm gonna grab uh, just simple acetate back and take double-sided tape and I'm gonna do a measurement from one of my frames to make sure I will have two pieces in the right size so that will be one side or acetate for one side and I'm gonna flip it over just copy the pattern of my double-sided tape and then place these two well, I'm gonna fussy cut out, of course, cut it out from that back and then place these two acetate pieces to my frames. this I want to keep this one on the top look it looks amazing even from this side so I just tried and I'm gonna use this this other side because here I do have that number as well so this will be my top of the frame and same it will be on that bottom bottom part but outside I will have white frame so on that blue side I'm gonna stick my acetate pieces so I do have my two frames and I can add the glue this will go here yes add the glue on one side which will go glue on this flip flop flop So this will go here and the other one, the acetate, uh, acetate double-sided tape on this side. So first that inside one, I'm going to make a position, I think this way, and just... glue this flap on my frame now I can take this frame good match these sides and glue it here and I'm gonna take my sewing machine and with my sewing machine, I'm going to sew with zigzag stitching this here and here. 
that way I will have entry to that uh, to that window frame from this side so I have added that zigzag stitching around these three sides and I do have window here once I will place the acetate piece here I will have window through the window or yeah window through the other window so now we're gonna create another window on this piece which will be folded over and here will be the pocket so on this piece I'm gonna use my ruler and just simply cut the window through so I have my window here I do have also a piece of beautiful layered paper which I can use for tack and because I do love to have pockets everywhere I'm gonna create here pocket as well just by using this uh, this leftover from my paper uh, from my acetate back as you can see that bottom it's still sealed so I'm gonna cut this in the size I can fit here so here and here I'm gonna cut that back so I do have this piece which is still kind of like a back it's still sealed here and that folded you know they still do have a back so on three sides here I do have entry so on these three sides I'm gonna place double-sided tape so I put double-sided tape on all four of sides of my open acetate bag I'm gonna place it around the window and now this side is still open so seal that side I'm gonna be using just brown tape and just make my frames using this brown tape and with that brown tape I'm gonna seal that open side and maybe I will put that brown tape all around I will see and just for optical effect to have that frame all around I'm gonna lift up this open side a little bit and place the tape inside of my pocket as well so that way it will be like I do have frame, framed it all so now I do have pocket from this side and here I'm gonna place <coughs> I do have here this off cut when I created this one and it's kind of ish in the size of this window it's <laughs> really on the edges but I think I can fit it there and because it's back I'm gonna make it like um, kind of like shaker card or I'm gonna add there some oh, some flowers I've got here these dry flowers and I would like to add them there but not like shaking <clears throat> thingy I would like to have their kind of like nice beautiful layout so here I'm gonna take a piece of double-sided tape place it on over the edge kind of like half half I will try if I will be successful it doesn't have to be big piece actually it can be just small part with the, this double-sided tape so I'll stick it to that paper now I can yeah I can lift up that top one I'm gonna take off I think I'm gonna hold this top half with just small piece of medical tape just to make sure it will don't get stick before I want so so I'm gonna hold it here for now that top top layer I'm gonna take off the part of double sided tape or that cover of double sided tape and now my flowers
So I'm gonna add my dried flowers and glue them here on the bottom to that double-sided tape and a little bit here okay I think I'm done with layering my flowers now I can unglue this flip it over my flowers and press it here on the bottom So it will get glued to the double-sided tape here. <clears throat> oh no, I'm gonna use this tape again, that brown tape, and tape it all around. Here and on the top. And for those who would like to ask me what tape I'm using, I've been on a car boot, car boot market and <laughs> they have been selling these large rolls of paper tape because it's kind of like you know, very old and it's very fragile to be, uh, to, to be honest. So it's not good for gluing on packaging, you know, and they sold that for a very good price. So I bought this this huge roll of this paper packaging tape. I do have framed my window and now I'm gonna grab my sewing machine and do zigzag stitching all around of this window, not this one because I need to keep there you know that opening, but this window zigzag stitching from this side so I can see the edges of that window and make a zigzag stitching. I do have my stitching around that window done and because here it's a little bit scratched that acetate I'm gonna have a look to my butterfly stickers and find some nice one to place it over these are so gorgeous I think this one yeah this one oh yeah it's going together with that So I'm gonna cover that scratched acetate with my butterfly. Move the threads and place the butterfly over it. And I'm gonna distress the space around. I'm using Spectrum Noir. Uh, Harmony line uh, ink. This is seal brown. And I think I'm gonna distress it here as well. So I do have a window here, window here, with pocket here. I need to do something with this and this one. So I think first I'm gonna work on this last layer because here I actually think I know what I wanna do. It does have the fragile edge where I opened the, uh, the envelope. It was very thin paper in there. So if I will make this as a pocket entry here, I do have here this beautiful die. This is from Marian Crafts die and I think I can fit in that spot. So that way I will create another see-through. This is Marian design die. Oops. Um, it's Annie's line and I do love head dies so much. I do have quite a lot of them. Uh, this is LR0376. 
Lima. R. I have no idea what is for R. Like right or <laughs> or <laughs> ring. Zero three seven six. So I'm gonna be using that die and cut the entry here. And to make sure I can fit into my die cutting machine, I'm gonna place it there this way. So this will go die. And I'm gonna go to my sewing uh, sewing machine, die cutting machine this way. I do have cut the label. She moved a little bit while I was die cutting that, so the edges are not evenly placed. That's not too good. But what I can do now, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna glue it back. I'm gonna put just two parts of double sided tape on two spots. Put it there. the acetate back and then go to my sewing machine and I will sew very carefully the shape around so that way I will have uh, nicely sewn all those those spaces so I <laughs> finally sew it all around that was quite a job and then I sewn just uh, I folded this side, which I showed you that I would like to have like pockets. So now there is a pocket from this side. And when I will fold it all together. Oh, if I will don't forget any kind of folds. I can see through to all these layers. So on this flap I decided to do another small window for that I'm gonna be using just this large oval paper punch I'm gonna slide it there and punch the window and cover that window with the piece of acetate so I do have my I think last piece of acetate sheet and I'm gonna place it over the window here so I have added uh, these stickers here I added also a few stickers around and uh, now I'm gonna uh, take some acetate piece and just create pocket around this one so I will see this background and when I will flip it this way I will see the inside of that pocket here as well so we will have pocket from this side and we will have pocket here but first I need some acetate piece I think I can actually use this small bag this I can use for decorating and this small bag maybe it's in the size here, it's perfect. So I can fit here. <clears throat> That's actually good size, I just need to cut it down. So, <laughs> I'm thinking to do shaker card, just little one. I got here this stars so I'm gonna place a few stars into that back oh shoot and on my table okay why not oh come on <laughs> son of a biscuit I think that's enough I don't need more so I'm gonna glue the back here oh, come on go down go down go down go down now I'm gonna have a look how tall pocket I need or I want and I think this way I 
So I'm gonna grab my sewing machine and sew it. First I'm gonna sew the back here and then all around. So I'm gonna <laughs> show you what I did. I forgot to switch on my camera after sewing. So I did sew my back here on the sides then I put a few stickers and I think I will need to add a few more glue on my creation. So I decorate the frame with uh, some more stickers. I think I will put there some stamps. Here I placed also a few stickers, stamps, same here, same here, sticker of that butterfly here. Here we have same thing and here I place here I place these two butterflies and decoration small decoration here. The pockets are filled with all kinds of goodies. Here it's the teacut uh, journal from A3 size paper from that artistic sketch pad. I took one paper and I have created this little journal. I do have a tutorial for these teacup journals. They are very easy to do. It does have so many pockets and it's really easy to do. So I will link it down below. That's what I do have in this pocket here. And then I do have just, you know, off cut from here plus some die cuts, just decorative tuck. This is window through and uh, there is a picture, <laughs> this one. And in this pocket I do have die cut from here, I think. Yes, it's from here and little pocket with labels and butterflies. This is actually made on card. I kind of upcycled playing card for this one. And now when I do have some stuff inside, I can close that. I'm gonna close it all. So it will be actually this way. So it will be folding down and folding up. I think this way or the other way. No, I'm not sure. Oh, this way. <laughs> so here on the top I do have this butterfly and now I'm gonna create the closure because this is filled up with something so I know how thick it will be. <clears throat> I'm gonna fold this here. Oh no, I'm not. I do have hit that butterfly and I wanna keep it that way. And I need to create a closure here. So I'm gonna fold this edge to make it straight. <clears throat> I'm gonna glue this end of my cover. And I'm gonna use this brown tape to finish that edge. I have to be very careful with taking off this one because it's really fragile. And I'm gonna wrap the edge into this brown tape. I'm gonna cut the corners here. And 
And I would like to have that decorative strip. So I'm gonna hold my ruler on the end and here <clears throat> I'm gonna take some washi tape I think I think this one with the letters because it's nice and black and it will be uh, it will looks good I do have divided that end so from my uh, tea dyed card I did uh, cut out using these Tim Holtz dies I did cut out this I used these two dies and I did cut out these two pieces and I've got here new collection from Sampool I didn't know that Sampool has new collection just because uh, Astrid thank you so much Astrid for that uh, for that comment that you shared with us that uh, Sampool has new collection of these dates from the past. Uh, it's part two. Gorgeous stamps. So I'm going to be using one of these. And of course I'm going to be using also Tim Holtz stamps. And I will do some little stamping. So I do have my little stamping done. Oops. This is Sampool, Sampool. Tim Holtz, Tim Holtz, Tim Holtz, Tim Holtz. And one will go here on the front and the other one will go right here on the end. I do have glued my labels. <clears throat> oh, you close it down, close here and close here. I'm gonna grab the pencil and draw. I'm gonna have two eyelets here and here. I think, yes, somewhere there. And as a closure, I'm going to be using this uh, fake leather. So I'm just going to slide it through one side. Slide it through the opposite side. I didn't even measure that. I <laughs> just found some piece. So hopefully it will be big enough. I'm going to make a knot. And now I can close my book. One stripe will go from this side, other stripe will go from that side. And I can stripe it here. And that's my book from Envelope. It does look like this. I can also close it a slightly different way if I will wrap this string or 
strip around the edge here and just made a bow here. So it depends what I will like more. And when I open my mini book, I do have pocket for notebook here and I can see what is underneath. So I can flip it over. I do have pocket here with some goodies and I can flip over this way. I do have there something else. So <laughs> I can flip it over that way and then I do have pocket here with some goodies and I do have pocket here with the photograph and he can be seen through to this one if I will have in that pocket here something different what I can place there so you can see that picture here and we do have pocket here with some goodies and with picture and some writing spot are around here. So that's all my decorating one envelope and creating windows. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope I gave you some inspiration how you can create see-through pockets, kind of like peekaboo pockets. Mostly it's not about measuring. Yeah, of course, sometimes you have to measure. But you can create beautiful pockets even without hard measuring and hard counting of centimeters. Just, you know, to make nice layers and to work slowly, do not rush what you do. So this is my sharing for today. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. Have a beautiful day. Take care about yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.